Welcome to Hide and Seek TV. It's your boy Hide and Seek, and I'm back with another video. And I'm about to be delving real deep in this video pertaining to a lot of things with the NBA and beyond. And I'm going to be talking about it, man. There's so much going on symbolically with the Anthony Edwards. And I'm going to show a lot of different, you know, elements and things pertaining to this situation. So first off, I'm going to start it out with Revelation 12. I'm going to start it out with verse 1. So verse 1, And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars, and she being with child travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon having seven, horn, seven heads, ten horns, seven crowns upon his head, and his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven, and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered, for to devour her child as soon as it was born. And she brought forth a man-child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. So the red dragon, you know, obviously goes into the beast system of Lucifer. You know, the seven heads, ten horns. You know, they already know the Messiah, as it's written in 1 John 4, 3, that the Messiah cometh in flesh, and those who deny are of Antichrist, you know. So he was in the flesh then, he's in the flesh now, as I've been showing it billions of times in all these videos. You know, the seven heads, ten horns, you know, seven times to ten is the 70s. And then, you know, obviously it says he was trying to destroy the child as soon as he was born, because 1973, you had abortion legalized. You know, feminism was pushing around this in the early 70s. Um, the condom commercials, 1975, because when you understand as it's written in there, in, the, in that day, there should be an altar to the Lord in the midst of the land of Egypt, and a pillar at the border thereof to the Lord, and it should be for a sign and for a witness unto the Lord of hosts. And the top of the altar is measured at 76 degrees, which are a shadow of things to come, but the body is of Christ. So, you know, when you understand that the altar stands 5,776 inches, you know, the sun burns 5,776 degrees on its surface. You know, as it's written in Psalms 89, 35 through 36, that the sun, you know, it's a sign, a great sign before the throne of God. You know what I'm saying? So it all testified about how the Messiah was returning. That's why it's important knowing what those altars are, you know. So that's why you got the height of the altar is 146.71 in meters. You add 14671, it equals 19. And then when you, um, when you do the height of the altar in inches, it's 5,776 inches. You know, you bring the five down for the fifth day, the seventh for the seventh month, which is July, then the 1976, when you bring the 19 and that 76 down. So they didn't want people knowing about the great return, you know. So all that stuff that they're doing, you know, that's what these, when you understand how everything is so symbolic and they know who they warn against. So, you know, now they just raise up their, you know, their distractions and their antichrists to blaspheme, you know, the holy names, you know, of the saints, and which is all a part of the body of Christ. And they all blaspheme, you know, the Messiah upon the earth and keep, you know, keep the saints and the Messiah drowned out by their blasphemy. But, you know, they're weakening, you know what I'm saying? So now, have you ever heard of a player being, you know, not only, you know, um, compared to, say, Kobe? Or Braun, but they saying Kobe and Jordan. You know, it's rare you ever heard of an NBA player that's being compared to Michael Jordan. And I'm gonna get into that in a minute. So, and I'll put in the comment section below other videos where I go more in depth about the um, 1976 July 5th birth. But um, this is very important because you know Anthony Edwards. You know he comes from the Holy Spirit Preparatory School, so hint the Holy Spirit. You know what I'm saying? This is very important. So, when you understand Anthony Edwards, you know, as it's written in Joshua 22, 34, and the children of Reuben and the children of Gad, you know, which is out of the 12 tribes of Israel, called the altar Ed, for it should be a witness between us that the Lord is God. So, altar Ed, so hint Edwards. You know, Edward name just means the great protector. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, hint the whole theme of, the whole aspect of the, um, you know, the elder St. Edward connection um, with the Messiah. You know what I'm saying? So you see how they have to have Anthony Edwards, you know, who is he out there in, in um, who is he out there in Minnesota with? He's out there in Minnesota with who? Carl Anthony Towns. And you know, the word Christ, it just derives from Karas, 
which don't mean nothing but the anointed Messiah. You know, K R I mean K A R A S T, you know, Kara. So you know Carl derives out of Karas, Carl, Kara. You know, which don't mean nothing but anointed Messiah, you know, Ka means soul, Ra means light. And that's why they had to have them two out there together. You know, a Anthony Edwards with um with Carl. You know, that's why even on Pooh Shiesty song Neighbors, notice how they were screaming the name Kara. You see? There's no reason to be doing that on a on a Pooh Shiesty video. But for blasphemy, you know, and it's so serious. So you see how um, Anthony Edwards is connected with Carl Anthony Towns because they already know that the connection, you know, with the names are more modernized in this time. But, you know, the Edwards will play the role of Peter. You see what I'm saying? So like a, a, a disciple Peter. So, you know, when you see how serious that goes, you know, the, you know, the one that, that the, um, the rock of the church, you know, he's the rock. Peter is the rock, the foundation of the church. So you see Edwards is it's connected with Carl Anthony Towns. So it's all symbolic, you know, that's why I'm going to get into it in a minute. But when you understand this, this was very important, too. But this dunk I'm about to play in a second. And it all just comes together and it's going to make more sense, you know, the role that he's playing. Let's delve deeper into this. That's why he went from wearing number one to number five, because that one goes, you know, in a sense of the one. You know, Christ is the one and then the five goes into the number of the son of man. You kind of see what I'm saying? The gathering of the body, it goes from one into a great gathering, collection of the whole body. And I'm going to play this clip and I'm going to chime on in. So you see, you see this had to happen at the Delta Center, too, because the Delta Center, you know, the Delta is where the altars are in, the Delta is of Egypt. So you see the Delta Center, and they already know that the Exodus, you know, is that's what's unraveling right before our eyes, the signs of the Exodus. You know, in 1 Thessalonians, you know, 4.17, what does it say? It said that we will meet the Lord in the air, you know. And you go into Jeremiah 49.22, he will mount up with wings as an eagle. So they already know that the exodus by the plains is coming, you know, and it's all Christ consciousness when they say we meet the Lord in the clouds and in the air, because the clouds goes into Hebrews, you know, as it's written in 12, one that, you know, it's going to be a great gathering. You know, we are as clouds, cloud of witnesses. Behold, he come with clouds. That's why Apple and Microsoft had to be formed in 1976. The cloud formed the great gathering of the saints. So you see this had to happen against Utah Jazz because that jazz goes into the horns and trumpets of God. And I'm going to get into all of that later on. You, it'll make more sense. But you see he had to battle against John. You see he had to do this dunk against John. Remember they always call John Collins like John the Baptist, you know. So let's let's hear this right quick. In that first half, another turnover for Utah. Edwards gets it back. See how he dunked on him. He got John got a head contusion, like a concussion. And you remember Ed hurt his finger because remember in the Exodus, remember Moses um, spread his hand. Remember how Kobe had jammed his finger too. You know the finger goes into the directing of the saints. You know the directing of the Exodus. You know the finger of God. You know the great author. You know right in the book of life. You know that's why he had to have his finger jammed, and then he had to give. John a concussion, which I'm going to get into this in a second, because when you understand that whole thing with Ed, like I said, that Anthony Edwards is like a role of Peter connected with Carl, with Kara, you know, because Ed is just all in it, the altar of Ed, which just proves that the Lord is God. That's why you got to be with Carl Anthony Towns. Remember Carl Anthony Towns, remember back in the day, who did he used to have with him? Remember he used to have Zach Levine, I remember he had, um... Andrew Wiggins, because you know the Wiggins just goes into me. I was just talking about the headstone. The Wiggins, remember back in the old days when they used to be in the courtrooms and they wear the big wig that just show about the the judge. And, you know, Christ is the judge. And then you remember Andrew Wiggins went on to join up with the Warriors. You know, which is just all showing about the Golden State Warriors. You know, in Zechariah 13, you know, it speaks about how um, the saints goes through being refined as gold. Going through the fire, you know. So that's how serious all this is. It's no way around none of it. So, you know, you understand about the twenty-four elders, you know, in the scriptures. You know, you got the twenty-four elders in the scriptures. You know, those who are the twenty-four who are the closest to God's throne. 
So when you understand that, it all goes into the hell theme of the spirits, you know. So, you know, as it's written in Luke 22, 28, ye are they which have continued with me in my temptations. So the 24 elders goes into the saints, you know what I'm saying, who return, you know, with the Messiah, you know, going time, you know, generation to generation, time to time. And that same spirit of those, you know, of the, of the ancient, you know, of the ancient disciples, you know, and it just it cycles into these times to fit the times today, you know, to get the mission. You know how it says Christ was returning and those who were with him will be with him. He'll be revealed in those who are with him. So you see the whole theme of Anthony Edwards is just all high level blasphemy. That's why they got to be in Minnesota, which is the Twin Cities. And remember, Minnesota got the 768 area code, Minnesota, Minneapolis, the 768 area code. So that's the 76. And then Minnesota is known as the Twin City. So that just deals with the doors of heaven blasphemy, you know. So you see how high level this stuff is, man. You know, that's why you got Carl and you got Ed out there together, you know. And you got Nas Reed. You know, Nas Reed is just Nazareth. You know what I'm saying? There's no way around none of it. You know, let's delve deeper into this, man. This stuff is all in our face. Even when I was out in Cleveland, um, I had went there for research. I saw Anthony Edwards versus the Cavs. And you see they had to have the 676 raffle. And then you see... You can see it right here too. I was at the game at the seats, but um, I had a, I had I had saw the score too. The score was seventy six, seventy seven. Like it never fails. I get that photo in a little bit, but um, yeah, like I was saying, dealing with the um, the twenty four elders. You know, it's very important to understand why they had to compare, you know, him to Jordan and Michael and Kobe. I mean, so I'm gonna explain this right quick. But yeah, like I was saying about the ye are they which have continued with me in my temptations. So, you know, the great return. So before I get into the Kobe and Michael Jordan comparisons, you know, as it's written, the stone which the builders, a.k.a. the Masons, has refused is now becoming the headstone of the corner. So you know, the Illuminati, Masons, the Freemasons removed the headstone because they don't want that 76 degrees to testify the return of the Messiah, you know. It's so much information they don't want people knowing. So you see why I had to have Chuck. They had to have Chuck, you know, Charles. Remember, he used to play for Phoenix Suns. You know, he used to Chuck because when you understand what Chuck um, was on the show Supernatural, remember, he was God and he was he was from Kansas. It's like I've been showing about how the Messiah is, with, is in Kansas. Edwards is in Kansas, you know. John 3.16, for God sent his only begotten son, you know, and those who believe shall have eternal life. And then when you understand the 3.16, is also Kansas area code. You know, and I've been showing that for millions of times, man, like Wizard of Oz. That's why they was in Kansas getting the Emerald City, you know, because the Emerald City, all that goes into is the kingdom of Judah, the holy kingdom of Judah, you know, connection. You know, as it says, Judah should be as Emerald. So that's why through Kansas, you made it to heaven, you know. That's how symbolic it is because what it was basically saying is when the Exodus fulfilled, the Messiah rises out of Kansas and lead us back into the new kingdom, back to Zion, what they call Egypt, you know. So that's why Chuck had to be the one talking about your, Anthony Edwards. You know, he, um, you know, he remind me of, he remind me of uh, Michael Jordan and Kobe, you know, because... Anthony Edwards, you know, like I said, that Ed goes as it's written that the altar should be named Ed, and it should be a test it's to testify that the Lord is God. You kind of see what I mean? So when you understand, there's no way around this stuff. You know, Chuck is what is a pulley system used to raise up stones. You know, you use a Chuck to to raise up stones. So that's why he had to be the one playing for Phoenix Suns, and I'm gonna get into that in a minute. Like I said, this is a big, this is going to be a deep video, and it's a lot of information that I'm going to spill out to you guys. So you see, they got to compare Edwards to Michael because hint the 24 elders. Remember, I was saying how, you know, we all are part of the body of Christ. The saints are a part of the body of Christ. So you understand that the spirits, you know, as though, you know, it's the disciples, you know, they spirits return for the times today, for the, the prophecy to fulfill of the last, the latter days, the exodus, the fulfilling of the kingdom. The Messiah's mission fulfills, and he have to have those 
edify him with him. So you see, you got to have Aunt Edwards is the main character on the, on the Timberwolves, but he always edify Carl, and I'm going to get into that in a minute. But you see, they had to compare him to Michael because Michael means one like God. And when you understand Michael Jordan, he was the bull. You know, in Revelation 4, 7, as it's written, the Messiah as the son of man, the royal bull, the lion of Judah, and the, and, the, and the flying bird. So you understand Michael Jordan being the bull, you know, it's all duality because Moloch is the bull as well. You know, an owl, you know, dealing with the flying bird and so forth. Because everything is, you know, the father in Isaiah 45, 7, he make good and make evil, light and darkness. And then you got Kobe. You know, Kobe, he um, is the, is, he's the black mamba. Remember in the first Exodus, remember the Messiah um, was referred to as what? He was referred to as the, the serpent on a pole, the bronze serpent on a pole. And all who looked upon it was healed. So you see, that's why Kobe had to die off first, and that's why he had to die in a helicopter, a 76B helicopter, you know? There's no way around none of it. So they got to compare Ed to that because it's just showing it's all blasphemy. Remember, he went to Holy Spirit High School. So it's all in there. It's right. It's evident. It's right in our face. That's why they got to compare him to the highest you can compare him to in basketball. Remember, even basketball, you know, it started out, in like Massachusetts, but remember that basketball really edified, it really elevated once the game um, was, you know, made known to Kansas. You know, basketball deals with the court, you know, it deals with the court of heaven. You know, who want to be above the rim, they want to be above the law. You know, put that ball through that, that rim, you know, blaspheme the Urim of the high priest. You know, which is the one that, that brings forth the law. The Messiah is the high priest, you know. See how serious it is. That's why Barack Obama, the Antichrist, had to have the basketball background. And he went to Punahou High School, which just means the tree of death. You know, I've been showing about Obama as well, but I'm going to keep this thing flowing. So you see, even Moses, remember, he had the 70 elders who was basically saying everything he was saying because, you know, the Holy Spirit was on Moses. And when he, you know, professed it to the 70 elders, what had happened? They took on the same spirit. So that's why Anthony Edwards got to be compared to the highest you can be compared to, you know. So you see how heavy duty this is. So this is, you see, he had to battle. That's why the Suns is at, they play at the footprint center because the footprints, you know, how we walk in the steps of the Lord. You know, Malachi, you know, 4 2. Notice Anthony Edwards plays against the, the Suns right after the eclipse. So when you're under the solar eclipse, because Ed must testify that the Lord is God. So you see that solar eclipse is um, very important because it was a sign that the, the son of righteousness is about to rise up. You know, people take it likely, but this is real stuff. The Messiah is being revealed. And you know, as it's written in Malachi 4, 2, but unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the star. So he had to battle against the sons, you know? It's so serious, man. And at the same time, at the same time, you got OKC Thunder. Remember, I was just showing about the jazz, the trumpets are sounding off, the revelation trumpets, you know. So when you understand how serious it is, you got OKC Thunder battling against the Louisiana, you know, Pelicans without Zion. Because, you know, when you understand Exodus 314, the father said his name is I am that I am. So, you know, the Messiah's name is Carol Lewis Williams II, like I've been showing, you know, Carol for Cara, Lewis, you know, for hallelujah, you know, you understand that praise, holly means to praise, Lewis, eternal Yah, so hallelujah, and then Williams, Exodus 3.14, the I am that I am, so the will of I am, the will of God, Williams, and then the second for the return, like I've been showing in all the videos, so you see, you see how all this stuff come together, look at this. Shots at or Towns at the rim. Notice Walker. Let me go back a little bit. In front, Alexander Walker with two you see Alexander Walker. So you see the Walker while at the footprint center. You see that? And they got that 11. They got that 1 1 1 score because all that goes into the, you know, the 11 11 goes into the gates. You know, it deals with the paths deals with the doors 
you know, walk in that narrow path. So notice the Suns had to have 1-1-1 one, one, one as their score. And you see Walker is the one at the footprint center giving the ball to Ed because when you understand the Walker, that goes into walking in the steps of Christ. That's why right now you got so many leg injuries. You know, you got the Bucks, which is just – um. You got Damian Lillard and Giannis Antetokounmpo. You know, Giannis, don't mean, is what? He's the Greek freak. So the Greek freak go into the Greek Masonic boule. you know? Dame is nothing but Lucifer, Damian. You know, that's what all that is just cold for that. That's why he had to leave the, the Portland Trailblazers and link up with, with the Greek freak. And that's why they're getting leg injuries because that whole thing with the leg injuries, you know, it all goes to how they're losing that, you know, that, that as it's written, that Christ would crush the um, the serpent's head with his heel. And they know that the saints are starting to get closer to we getting ready to prepare for that altar. We're getting closer to the altars, to the exodus. You know, walking in the steps of the Lord. So you see the footprint center. You got Walker steals the ball, and then he gives it to the Ed. And Bill should have pulled up and shot that or attacked Towns at the rim. See how they said Bill should have shot that? Or attack Carl at the rim. You see, Bill failed. You know, the Bill, it's all, you know, all the symbology, though. You know, Bill goes into the Bill because Bill is short for, you know, a nickname for William. But you see how that whole thing goes into that. You see, they had to mention Bill should have shot it or attack Towns at the rim. Attack Carl at the rim. Kara, Towns, you know, the holy city, Zion. <laughs> Then you see they got the referee wearing number 48 because the 48, you know, 1976 to 2024 is 48 years. The Messiah is it's going to be 48 years this year in um, July 5th. Tend to shoot. Edwards. Oh, Edwards! You see Carl had to be the one witnessing. Look at this. See Carl number 32 is witnessing that dunk. You see? It's all coming together. That's why Anthony Edwards said, yeah, you know, me and Carl are the two best. You know, we the two best um, the duo in the NBA, you know. That's why he said they're the best duo in the NBA. You know what I'm saying? All right, look at this. Towns. See how him and Towns, how him and Carl. Notice how him and Carl are always in sync, you know. The mind of Christ flowing through Ed and Kara, you know. Set it up, Towns, D3. Yes! Okay, fill in the blank. Me and Carl Anthony Towns are the blank duo in the league. Towns. Penetrating. Yes, sir. The best. Okay, what makes you the best? I mean, because it's like a one-two punch. Like, he can go to the post, I can go to the post. He can shoot the three, I can shoot the three. I can defend, he can defend. If you're the best player, which is Cat, sharing the ball, getting off of it offensively, moving it around, um, I think it falls down throughout the whole team, and everybody got to do it. So. See how he always edifying Carl. He didn't say, I'm the best on the team. He said, Carl. You see how serious that is. It's serious symbology, man. You know? That's why you had J. Cole, his alter ego is kill Edward. You know what I'm saying? He want to kill off Edward. You know? Because they know that Edward is the altar that testifies that the Lord is God. You know? That's why the devil is always, you know, always used to attack Peter. Remember, Yahushua said, you know, Peter, behold, Satan have desire to have you that he may sift you as wheat. I right? remember how Peter was always going through the, um, going through the doubts and, and the phases, but always come back stronger, you know. So it's the same spirit, the same spirits today, you know what I'm saying? That's why they blaspheming it with Anthony Edwards, because they already know that Edwards is amongst um, is amongst the Messiah. You know, that's how serious this is. You know, that's why it says the devil already know all of this. That's why it says, um, in there shall no wise enter into anything that defileth neither whatsoever work of abomination or make of a lie, but they which are written in Lamb's Book of Life. You see? So you see how serious this is. So they already know, so they just use it on their left hand side and mock it, you know. Serious stuff, man. And I'm gonna delve deeper.
Remember, that's why he was an actor, because, you know, and we're like, they use that acting stuff to blaspheme because they already know that we receive the mind of Christ in us. So, we, you know, we go according to the script, the scriptures. So you see, that's why Anthony Edwards had to be on the movie dealing with the 76ers on that movie Hustle with Adam Sandler. Remember, Adam Sandler was dealing with the 76ers on the film. The Philly 76ers. So you see that whole, and you can obviously see the man, you know, I, you see Herman Gomez with the um with the all C and I altar on his on his shoulder, blaspheming. But you see Anthony Edwards, you know, he's the actor. You see how serious this is? That's why back that's why back in the day, remember you had the five heartbeats. Remember you had Eddie Kane. You know, the whole soul of the whole five heartbeats. Remember that? Eddie Kane. Like, come on, man. Let's delve even deeper into this right quick, y'all. The whole theme, I feel like going. Hint, Eddie's singing, I feel like going. Hint, the exodus, going home in the church, you know? I feel like going. See? Going on. You see, you got you got him with Baby Dial. You know, I'm gonna get into that. Remember, they both was overcoming the drugs because you know, in Revelation 3:12, you know, as it's written, the, the Messiah said he'll make us as a pillar, as a stone in his altar. You know, we all get our stone and get our crowns. Those who overcome. So you know, they like to use the drug allegory, but it's just all symbolic of, you know, how to um, you know, how everything come together about how the saints. You know, are being grafted in, you know, are waking up. That's all it was practically saying. You know, that's why they ended up in the church at the end, singing together. Because when you understand that baby dial, you know, that all goes into the whole thing. You know, as it's written, the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge, Selah. So the Lord of hosts goes into dealing with the um the dial, you know. You know, I can't remember how they used to use ventriloquists with the dials and so forth, you know. He's based like the, the, the spirit that, you know, bring the Tao to life. So you see, Ed had to be with the Tao, you know, basically had to be with the Lord of hosts symbolically. You know, Mother Jerusalem type of ordeal. It's serious, man. That's why I'm about to talk about the show. Amazon Dem um, Part 2 This is called The Scare because that shows that Ed is bringing the fear of God, you know. Amongst throughout the whole body of Christ. So you see how Anthony Edwards obviously is with Carl. And that's why they both magnifying. It's bringing the, you know, the fear of God symbolically edifying who Carl is. So you see on the show, Amazon Dem, you know, they had that raggedy Andy Dow. And when you understand that red hair, they, you know, they had the main character on the show, um, Edmund, which I'm about to get into. But, you know, the red hair man was like the was like the spirit that was possessing people and getting them you know when they when he uh, you know bring death on them they miles would contort and their whole body is shrivel up because that's just showing you know how the word of god you know through ed is um it's it's gonna you know it's gonna send shock waves and that's what anthony edwards is doing in the nba singing you know come out of nowhere and he came from holy spirit high school you see what i'm saying so that red hair just goes into the whole theme of um sir dal Noah, and he said to me these are they which come out of great tribulation and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the lamb so they got to have the red hair because that goes into how the, the blood of the lamb when we edify and uplift the messiah as the headstone you know it covers us and protects us you see fills the kingdom so that's why you see on here you got edmund and you see he got the, the thread around him. You see it said, don't let the threads overpower you. So that thread goes into the whole theme of the tailoring. And that's the reason why I brought that up. I'm going to get into this. It all connects. That's why the Timberwolves were blue and white. Because that blue just goes into the whole theme of the law of God. You know, blue deals with law and order. And that's why Anthony Edwards was talking to Taylor Rooks right here. You know. Look, who are you talking to? Who Anthony Edwards talking to? Taylor Rooks. You see? The tailoring. 
You know, you understand that tailoring is very important because that tailoring goes into the tailoring of the garments. You know, that's why you got Travis Travis Kelsey running around with Taylor Swift out in Kansas City, dealing with Kansas, dealing with the Chiefs, you know, the saints of God. So you see, don't let the threads overpower you. When you understand them threads, that all deals with what? That all deals with the whole theme of tailoring the garments of the saints. And when you understand that, that goes into Perseus and Minotaur. You know, Perseus, Theus, just comes out of the whole theme of the, the, the Lewis, the Perseus, Lewis. You know, it's all symbolic of the Messiah blasphemy, overpowering that bull, overpowering Moloch, Minotaur. And you see he used the thread to do it because in Exodus 34, 19, you know, all that opened up the matrix is mine, saith God. You see? And that's why you get It all deals with carpentry, basically. And you see, that's why they like to use it for their chairs, those Black Panthers. You know, it all deals with nothing but, you know, the panther, the mixed leopard, the antichrist in Revelation 13. A panther is a leopard without spots. So they like to weave and carpenter themselves and then use the blasphemy of the name of God to sit upon it, you know, and be their own gods. That's their throne. I'm going to show y'all something right quick to make, you know, make it more edified. All right, listen to this. This is off the movie Wanted, hint the fraternity of assassins. You know, Morgan Freeman, we are a fraternity of assassins, you know, dealing with the Freemasons trying to kill the body of Christ all day, war against Judah. See how he dealing with the threads? Call this the loom of faith. See? You know, try, remember that was Wilbur, you know? <laughs> so you understand that whole theme of the will that he's talking with, you know? Remember on that one scene, the man was referring to him as Wilbur. You know what I'm saying? So all this all coming together, man, that all deals with that thread, you know? So let's take it even further. Let's talk about that tailor in it a little more. All right, look at this. See, he's tailoring the jerseys, the garments. Got something special for y'all. Little update for our fans from the big house to the bayou, from Carolina to California. See that he doing the tailoring, you know? Let's just say this ain't the only jersey we've been working. Hear that hallelujah. The game this sport deserves. Cause pretty soon, this place will be full again. It'll be full again. Hear that. Until then, cue the crowd noise. You see? Serious stuff. This place will be full again. So you see on the show, on the show them, you see you got Ed laying in a circle. You know, Kara also means circle as well. You know, hint the Messiah is the circle of life. You know, he ruleth the circle of life. So you see you got Ed in the light with William laying dead. So you see William was laying dead off pill. You know, he needed his pills. And his heart stopped. You know, his cardiac, hint Kara stopped. You know. So in Ezekiel 116, remember it says the Messiah is revealed by the will within the will. So you see you got Ed laying in the will within the will in light with, with William, you know. So it's very important to understand this symbology. And, you know, I'm going to play a clip right quick. You see he's in his car with his headphones. You know, he's sitting in his car. He drove an escort because the escort deals with the whole theme of leading souls to the kingdom. So let's delve deep into this, man. Listen to this. All come together. Imagine what might happen. What might be available to you. This is Ed. If fear was not an option. Are you ready? Ready to relinquish doubt and confront your most actualized self? Are you ready? See, he's wearing the pig head because when you understand that pig, that all goes into Hamashia. You know, in the Hebrew, Ham Mashia is um needs the savior, so hint the pig. Where's your mom? See, it's dealing with law, you see? How he's wearing the pig and then his sister is the law, you see? 
you know what I mean? I can end it kind of right there. But I just wanted to show that little piece with serious symbology in that show. But look right here. Same thing. You see how Ed is in the wilderness. You know, he was a failed actor. But the only time he was successful at acting is when he really did, you know, slaying of people, which is just showing how we overcome the flesh daily. You know, basically just, you know, killing off our old selves, becoming reborn in Christ. That's all it was saying. So you see he got that shovel because, we, you know, the saints are planting the seeds of righteousness. And they are in the desert because it's symbolic of the wilderness of God, you know. See, they got and they playing, they showing, they playing the church music while they in the wilderness. And the scripture for that for that episode was named Luke eight seventeen. So when you understand Luke eight seventeen, it all deals with what the, everything that's hidden being revealed. So that showed that the whole power of of the spirit being spread through Saint Elder Edward. You know, it's all coming to all coming together, man. It's no way around it. That's why Anthony Edwards is magnifying and jumping above the rim right now. So you see, remember I show how Anthony Edwards dunked on John, and you see John was the one helping um, Edward Edmund on this show, giving him scripts to read. He was waiting for John to give him scripts, so that all goes into the Book of Life symbology. You know, you can see it again for those. You see, where it say John, like you can go. I'm gonna go to the last paragraph where it say number fifth, sixteen or fifteen. You see, it says. I have received a paper to sign, finally processed this paperwork. I can't wait much longer. John answered and said it has not shown up. The anger is getting in the in the um is getting in me. If I wait another day, I'm going to go crazy. You see? This stuff is serious receiving the scripts from John. So look right here, it's very symbolic because you know her name was um, you know, Pam Greer, who used to play Foxy Brown back in the day. I'm going to play this clip, you know what I'm saying? Let's delve deep into this. You know, you know it all come together. So you see Pam Greer, you know, on here she plays Athens. And that all goes into that Greek freak stuff I was talking about, the Masonic boule. Remember in 2 Maccabees 4.15, it says that Judah and Israel sold their birthrights, sold off their heritage to follow to be like that to the Greeks, you know, joining the fraternities and sororities, you know. So it's all in our face. You see what I'm saying? So you see she had to die off. You know, on the show, he chopped her head off because, you know, that's showing how they lose in power, you know, over the saints, you know. See, she's trying to give him his pills. She can't open the pill. They want to keep giving, you know, I'm going to play a clip right quick, as a matter of fact. So this scene can make more sense to y'all. Pay attention to this. Really, this is not the 80s. Don't be silly. Now we push pills and sell hair on the Billy. Now you see Billy, so they're going to the William. Billy, mama want the judge to pardon his addiction. How many black addicts that got caught up in the system? You see, he want to keep by keep keep um, filling up the body of Christ with blasphemy. They try to overpower the saints. They don't want us to get our stones. They want to keep crushing us up because we're the pillars. So they want to give pills. You know, keep people drunk on blasphemy and keep people drunk in ignorance. So you see it's showing that Greek, the Greek boule masons are losing power of that. That's why she couldn't give William while he's crawling, crying to her the pills. It's like creepy stuff right there, but yeah, you see what I'm saying? See our Principal Lewis? One second, guys. It's all coming together, man. There's no way around it with Elder Edward and the Anthony Edwards blasphemy. So you see our Principal Lewis was taking the pills himself and becomes paralyzed. Remember on the um remember on American Dad you had Principal Lewis getting the bricks on the plane because we're the pillars getting ready for the Exodus. You know? The stones. So you see they want him body, they want him paralyzed. Keep warring against the body of Christ, you know. You know, that's why I was saying when you do Lewis, you know, hit hallelujah. When you translate praise the Lord becomes Lewis Eternal. Hallelujah. Praise Lewis Eternal, you know. Lewis Eternal, yeah. You know, Revelation three twelve, you know, just for you know, just for edifice, 
You know, him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God. You see? So let's delve even deeper into this. You know, it's serious because on a show, too, on that damn show, you know, it's a lot. You know, it's so much symbology in it, man. I have because I have to go back with the first season and everything. But on the first season, this girl right here ended up being the mom on the second season. But she was the daughter on the first season. to go into it, rewatch it and connect it all together and, and show what it's all talking about. But you see right there how she she wanted to be a so-called white woman, a Gentile. So you see how she was painting her skin white, you know, because all that's going into, remember, that would be the mom of Edmund, and she's the one who gave him up to um, Pam Greer on the show for adoption because she didn't want to deal with him. But on, a, you know, the white and black symbology, you know, it goes into, remember, on Moses in Exodus 4, 6 through 7, put now thy hand into thy bosom, and he put his hand into his bosom, and when he took it out, his hand was leprous as snow. And he said, put thy hand into thy bosom again. And when he put his hand back into his bosom again, and it plucked it out of his bosom, and behold, it was turned again as his other flesh. So you see, it's the white black symbology because it's showing how, you know, we're going to overcome that black identity. And, you know, we're not going to be no longer by words. We become Judah. And on the same time, at the you know, be known as the holy kingdom of Judah, you know. And at the same time, too, it goes from what's hidden in the darkness being revealed in the light. That's why, remember when I showed him when he was walking with that shovel, that episode was Luke 8, 17, which was basically just talking about, you know, what is hidden being revealed. So, you know, Edward on the show was doing a lot of damage, you know, re, you know, waking people up, you know. See? See, ever since I left your house, all I see is blood, you know, basically purifying the house of Israel, house of Judah, you know, serious, same thing with the whole thing in the house, because they already know that house connection, they already know that the house of Judah is being, ref is, is being refined and purified and fixed up, renovated, people waking up again, you know, excuse the language, but it's the same thing. <laughs> See the house, you see that, you know, as it's written, we have become as trees of righteousness and we'll be planting our land and won't be rooted up in again anymore. So you see right there, the trees of righteousness, the family photo. And then you see they got the horn. Remember I was showing that earlier with Anthony Edwards dunking on John at the Delta Center, dealing with the altars and the Exodus, the Delta Plains. And you see how um, Anthony Edwards dunked on John, hint John the Baptist and um and then you may be John plays for the the Jazz. Remember you used to play for the Atlanta Hawks. That hawk just goes to how the Messiah is the flying bird with healing in his wings. So you see Russell Hornsby, so hint that horn and you got the car outside the house, you know. See that I'm moving weight, you know. That whole thing of moving weight that's dealing with them stones. Notice Wilson, a.k.a. William. Charles Wilson. You know, Wilson, just the son of William. Charles for the Chuck, the raising of the stones, you know. See? And they show Lucille, and then you got the, the black Jesus image. You know, I broke this down more in detail in my last video. But the reason why I brought that up, and, you know, when Edmund was just to my, I saw all your house, all I see is blood. Because, you know, Big Meech, you know, his middle name is Edward. And he was dealing with the bricks. You see? So you see all that stuff connecting with the house. And you see how I show how they showing his childhood, Big Meech, you know, Edwards, dealing with the house. And then they show the, 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 the black Jesus image, you know? That's why Ed is the first human voice to ever be recorded, you know. The altar unto the Lord God, Ed, the first voice, human voice recorded. And then you go into Thomas Edison. They said the first thing he ever said on a, a voice recording was Mary had a little lamb. Like, come on, man. You know, no way around that. 
There's no way around it. You know, it's no way around. That's why Anthony Edwards got to be connected to um, Carl Anthony Towns. And then you see right now they got Edward J. Dwight. It's the first, you know, so-called black astronaut about to go to space. You know, and you see they say he was selected um, to be a part of Chuck. Hint, Chuck again dealing with Ed. You know, Jaeger's test pilot program at Edwards Air Force Base in California desert. Hint, the desert, the wilderness again. Remember, I just show Ed beating the man to death with the shovel in the wilderness. Shovel deals with, you know, with the seed of righteousness. Remember, the Messiah is the seed of the house of David. So you see the Edwards Air Force Base dealing with the planes, the exodus, to go out of space. Come on, man. Let's hear this right quick. Let's look at this. All right. Hear this? Now, this is Chris Rock, hint, Christ the Rock talking. Dang, same goes for playoff spot. You sure they saw that spider? Because that's that web. You see what I'm saying? That's the web, the gathering. You see? Through the cloud, the web gathering. The whole thing, that web, remember that goes back to what I was talking about earlier. That's why I wanted to show. It all comes together. Remember how a spider they use is they web, they use the silk web. You know, that whole thing dealing with the silk web because that goes into what? The weaving, the carpentry, building up the cloud, the web symbolically. You know, the thread. You see? Playoff spider. It's not a thing. Well, Brunson can't deny it. I mean, is that a thing? Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Oh, I see. You got the whole league in on this. See, Anthony Edwards by himself raising up. Notice, notice how, not a thing. See how he's raising himself up on that bar. You know, that's the whole, and I was just talking about Eddie Kane. So, him raising himself up on the bar. The rod holding that Lewis staff. And they show him dunk on John right after that. So, look. I see. You got the whole league. They show him dunk on John. Not a thing. And then he raised himself up on the bar. You know, preparing for the um the whole theme of what? Of, of the Exodus. Preparing for the, you know, the kingdom of Judah being fulfilled. That rod of iron. Let me guess. So you see you got you notice you got Williams on that left right there in the clouds. You see you got the thunder and you got Williams. And you see this his name is Gil Shea Gilgis Alexander. Remember I showed it earlier when John got dunked on. Remember Walker was the one that got that steal. And you know his name was Alexander because Alexander just basically means the ruler. You know the warrior, the king. So you got Alexander in the clouds. And, you know, they got the love on their, on their jersey because love, all that means is basically Lewis. All it means is Lewis. And then you got the, um, you got, you got Chet on the right with the Wilson basketball, you know. And when you understand that, that all goes into nothing but the whole thing of the revealing with the black and then the orange for the, the uh, illumination, the awakening, the light. So, yeah, you know, Chet, you know, um, wearing the black with the Wilson ball. You know, his name, Chet, don't mean nothing but the fortress of the soldiers, like a camp for the soldiers. So, you know, that's the whole gathering of the saints. You know what I'm saying? And then, um, you know, um, you got Alexander, obviously. Then you got Williams with number with the orange color on, you see? So, they all go from that black to that orange to revealing. So, you see it said it's not a thing. So, the reason why they're talking about a thing, because in Luke 135, you know, as it's written, and the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore, also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. So you see, that's why Chris Rock said, It is a thing. It is a thing. You see, the rock, Christ talking about the thing being revealed. Are you serious? Everyone's going playoff and saying it's clearly a thing. It's not a thing. Well, let's find out. You see how you got you got Denver, Jokic coming through the tunnels, talking about it's not a thing. You know, that whole theme of the Jokic, you know, the whole theme of Denver dealing with the Mount High City, Mount Zion blasphemy. You know? All in our face, man. That's why you got Leon Edwards. You see what I mean? That's why he gotta be the heavy I mean the um the champion. You know, when, the, um, when you understand about Leon Edwards, you see how he was battling against Cameroon Usman, Usman, because when you understand that, you know, Usman is what? The Nigerian that goes into that whole land of Nigeria, 
what they like to call Nigeria, which don't mean nothing but to be black, you know, that was really just Judah's territory. That's all. That was all Judah's territory that Judah was plucked up out of in Deuteronomy 28, 68 by slave boat. And they changed the name to Nigeria because they want to keep everything black, keep everybody hidden. You know, as it's written in Psalms 81, that they removed the name Israel that they remembered no more. You know? So all of this stuff come together, man. It's all in our face. Let's delve deeper into this. Psalms 83, I'm sorry. Slip of the tongue. Psalms 83, 4. And they said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be remembered no more. So you see, all in our face, you know. That's why Edwards had to overpower us, man, because they're just removing that blackness. Same thing right now when you got Luca. You see how Luca is battling against the Clippers. So you had Ed battling against the Suns, hence the Son of Righteousness rising up. And Lou, Luca battling against the Clippers, the Lou. The Lewis Eternal. The Clippers goes into that boat, the Ark of the Covenant. The Exodus that's unraveling. As the days of Noah were, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. The Exodus. That's why on Obama's, the Barack Obama movie on Netflix, Lead the World Behind, they show the boat coming on the sand. Because as it's written, Israel is at the sands of the sea. So that boat, that Ark is preparing to gather up the saints, you know. All in our face, man. All in our face. It's deep, you know. You see, they want to, re you know, um, that boat goes to the Ark of the Covenant, which is just dealing with the law of God. So you see, it's dealing with the Ark. So you see, you got break your neck. You know, you see that 44 right there deals with the Ark. On break your neck, they want to remove the headstone. Because that 44 goes into dealing with the Ark of the Covenant. It comes into dealing with the law. That's why Anthony Edwards wears the blue and white on the Timberwolves. That's why Obama had to be the 44th president. Because he want to rule the Ark of the Covenant. He want to rule the law. You know. Same thing with the movie Planet of the Apes that's coming out. You know, about to get ready to come out. You see they got that Ark behind them. The boat. It's a lot of Ark boat blasphemy going on right now. And as you can see, Planet of the Apes, you see they on the bridge. Hint the bridge, how Christ is our bridge into the kingdom. And they got 76 on the car. You know. All in our face. You see what I'm saying? There's no way around none of it, man. You know, no way around none of it. You know. Even early, remember I was talking about Edwards going to space? And you see they said the first time you do, do this, it's like, oh my God. You know what the H E double hockey sticks, you know? You see that the guy mentioned God and hell. You see? You can actually see this beautiful blue layer that the earth is encased in. It's absolutely stunning. The blue layer. You know, dealing with the law that's rising, the law of Zion that's about to flow. And Edward is the one talking about it, you know. So I'm gonna end that right here. Thank you for watching how to see TV. Much more is coming, man. Peace.